Hello but welcome back to Strategic Command, Paradox Game of Playing. So we have taken Belfast and I just need to mop up the remaining garrison here. Supply is still low until Belfast gets back to 3. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Uh, but they are in supply 0. So let's see if I can't destroy it outright. Still got one left. Uh, its entrenchment level is 1. So in case they can resupply it, I can take it out next turn when their entrenchment will become 0. So that's it for Northern Ireland. I was just thinking about if I land... I can try and land units here by uh, Amphibious Landing and they have the ports so they should be able to get off the islands again. I'll definitely try that once Northern Ireland is, has been secured. The Navy is right here. They should all be in full supply. We have one on strength uh, 9, so why don't we go and bring it up to 10. This one will go up to 4. And then we have a submarine, resupplied and all. Send it out. We have the one in the North Sea up here, which is still in supply 7. And I guess we can resupply it from Navik. Even from over here. What's No, that's Finland. But at least from Navik if we need it. Let's come up this way. That's all the way at the top of the map there. There it is. And then we have several subs out here in the Atlantic. This one is going to disrupt, or it can't reach. It was going to disrupt, disrupt, uh, disrupt the British imports from South America. And that's actually this one here. And what's the other one? I think this is the one that goes to... Well, I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, we'll just continue down uh, here, go down there, go over there, come down this way, and just do a general move down, straight down everything, crisscross that way. So we've got a couple over here. We can go down this way and up this way. Nothing to report. There's a Italian submarine that's over here. Supply 10, just bring it out. I think those were all the subs in action. Let's go to Malta. Zoom in. So we got Malta down to 7 strength. Uh, 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 uh. Right, we'll keep bombing with the battleship. And also make sure the ports stay at level 0. And then we bomb with the planes. So far, they haven't taken a single point off of that unit. So they're pretty crap. Here though, take it down to 6. And we'll get these guys out to sea. And they can hit it next turn. We can get the Italians down so they can also get out next turn. Although these guys actually can. How far can they go? How far can they move next turn? Can they get there? I don't think so. Let's take this guy instead. Next turn. Uh, and then we have the attack on Crete, which has kind of petered out since I am no longer in supply here. Um, and I can't get these guys off, off the island. 
<laughs> so I think I'm just gonna move out here and wait for the uh, amphibious landing. Keep hitting the port. And the Italian battleships are taking losses. Bring this one around. Does it make any sense to take this port down? I'd rather want to use it when I land here. So, if anything, it should be this port. I don't know. 119 points for the Italians. We can uh, operate some of these guys up. We also have the fighters. Let's just get uh, get this sorted. Let's bring the the planes up to Greece. Like that. And then over here we want to take Baghdad. Take it down to three, to one, and there we go. Make sure to grab Baghdad. Uh, that will be supply. What is the supply in Baghdad now? Supply two. So I think we need. No, let's just continue. Take more stuff. Go down there. And go down there. And we can put the headquarter in Baghdad. And we have a British headquarter down here and the fighters. I could use some more units over here, but that's my own fault. I headed to the eastern front. Let's check out the Italians over here. They have one headquarter for these units, which is not enough, but we do have one on the way. 17 October, so in a, in a month time, we'll have the uh, third Italian headquarter. So let's get these guys operated up. And even that one. There we go. All right. All right. So this is the situation in the South Russia. There's no sign of the uh, enemy battleship. We'll just keep the uh, submarine out here, and we have the bombers over here ready to go right so Kazan we want Kazan right um, mm, 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 mm. I think we can we can probably grab it start by doing that and then move out of the way then we can move these guys down Move them also out of the way. We can move them back up here. Get the cavalry down. And take it. And then we have to move these guys up to block the hole. Let's wait a little bit with this position over here. So what do we want here? We have the armor in position here. We want to go this way down. We can take Kitrograd and make a pocket here. And just fill up with these units. Uh, 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 uh. I think we can probably punch our way through this unit here which is not upgraded then the cavalry and the fighters are easy this guy is not upgraded either 
So we can see I'll probably be able to take that out, put uh, take the SS units in, and then actually take uh, Kurovograd in this turn. Then in the next turn, we can make the pocket. That's definitely possible. We have the Sidomir pocket over here, and the uh, only concern here is to take the town itself. Then the other three will be out of supply. Um, my concern here is the headquarters as well. Let's see if they are rightfully attached. Well, not quite right, because this guy shouldn't be attached down there. Well, it doesn't really matter much, but I think we're going to switch them around so that he will not be, he will detach here and attach this one instead. And this headquarter will attach that one. Everything else should be in order. Uh, so we just want to push units through this way. First, let's see if we can take Sidomir with the available armor we have over here. I'm going to put them in the woods, although that is not advisable. I think these two armor can take Sudamir on their own. Let's bomb them first. That was the first shot. I need the bombers. We have fighters to intercept. Three damage to the Soviet fighters, one to mine. And that's all that happened. What about this one over here? Can it reach? Yes. No more enemy fighters, and nothing happened either. So let's do one more attack, this time with four damage. And then move them out of the way. Bring in the other armor. And we got Sidomir. There we go. The others will be out of supply next turn, so it's just a question of moving around a little bit. So let's leave that for now and concentrate on this situation down here. So we want to punch our way through here. We can just do uh, we can just do both of the attacks and then plow the SS through. Take out the enemy fighters. But we can't take Kivograd itself. That's a bit shame. That's a shame, yeah. Hmm. These guys are not entrenched either, so maybe we can even hit them with the Romanians here. Yeah. Start working on that unit. Bring this one over here, and the headquarter can go in there. Alright, how far can these guys go? Well, they can get to this position, so we can put the armor up here. And then walk these guys up here. And then the Bulgarians are there. There. And there. And then get the Italians up. These armies are really slow. But okay. Fighters over there. Get the Bulgarian headquarter over there. Then move this one over there. Get the headquarter a little bit closer. And just fill up with units from down here. We can get this one sorted. Move that one up there. Um, mm, mm, let's see. This one can go there. And this one, let's put an Italian unit here. Let's put both Italian units up here, just to, if nothing else, then just screen. 
so that we don't get surrounded, obviously. Right, and back to this situation over here. We have lots of armor, but they're pretty beat up, all of them. And uh, right now they're just holding the line. Because uh, these guys can't get further than just one hex. Like that. Bring this one forward and then... Uh, Bring this guy over there, and then re replenish this one. <laughs> Alrighty, then we have this one. You can either go there, or there. You can also get all the way up here, so we can move some of these guys if we want to. Yeah, I think the armor is gonna take a turn replenishing here. This one can't though, because it's too far, it's too, um, the supply is too low. And uh, I think he will just stay there. And then we'll resupply, we'll uh, refill this one with one point. The same goes for this one, two points. This one can go over here. I think we want it over here so we can make another breakthrough. And then bring the Germans over there. Now I probably can't get anyone here. No, that's too far away. Uh, but we can get them up this way, this way, and that way. And then get the headquarter closer, like that. Oh, I'm gonna bring this headquarter up here. I'm not that afraid of the 112th rifle. And then we can bring the Hungarians up this way with the motorized units. Perhaps get the bombers a little bit out of the way. Um, let's get it down here. The fighter there. Bring this bomber a little closer. Then the Romanians, we want them down this way. Refill that one. The Hungarians will move up as far as they can. And the Slovakians, sorry, the Slovenians move up as well. Alright, so next turn we'll uh, clear these three. And we'll try to take uh, Kirovograd. They'll probably put something in there. And push through this way and then try and make a pocket down here. Eventually we'll move north and try to make a pocket around Kiev. Although that's going to be a really big one, and winter is coming, as they say. So let's move up here. We have a nice pocket here with uh, these guys in there. Supply level one only. Uh, 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 do we want the bombers to go for that or for Riga? Can they reach Riga? Yes, they can. We're going to go around Riga. No, we're going to punch through Riga. Alright, let's uh, not use the Air Force and instead just punch these guys in the faces. These three over here are upgraded, the others are not. Alright, so I think I want to get this guy out of the way a little bit. He can just go there. And then we'll bring this guy up, take a shot. This guy will take a shot, then move away. So 
So you can upgrade next turn. Then we'll bring this guy up, take a shot. And I think we might be able to finish them off from the other side. We'll find out now. Yeah. We got it. Right, just follow up there, and then we can move these guys forward. Now, these guys can't upgrade this turn at least, so let's take some shots from those guys first. And there. And I think we got it here. Yeah. Alrighty. Now the Italians are supposed to head towards Minsk. No, sorry, Pinsk. So they will start advancing on that position. No sense to take a shot now. Pinsk is in the supply six. All right, further up here we have this armored army or armor. What is it? Motorized armor army. Wow. Blech. These guys. What are they gonna do? I was supposed to. Uh, last time I was, I was thinking about moving around Minsk. But if we look at the supply situation here, the closest supply here is Wilno, which can go to six when it's fully, or is it five? I think it's six. So if we count, that'll be five, four, three, two. It can only supply to here. Then we can put a headquarter, which will then be able to supply to down here and we have to do the same thing on the other side so it, it is doable it's definitely doable All right, let's move these guys up a little bit here so we don't have so far to go and then start moving these guys around. They uh, this one should upgrade though. It can't. Oh, it all is already upgraded. Fine. They all are except for the headquarter itself. So we can get to. We should get as close to these guys as possible. What is the supply out here? Uh, currently, it's three and two. And then from there we have to move around. And we'll move the headquarter closer as well. Okay, so move these guys over there. There is a unit in the back there that we have to punch through. Uh, why don't we just get this one back to 10? Push up to there and there, and then let's see four, three, two, one. We can get the headquarter over here. Ah, there's a Soviet headquarter in the back as well. Right, that takes us all the way up here. I want to hit Riga. Now the artillery cannot reach Riga at this point, but they can reach the guys in front of it. So let's get rid of those guys first. Using the artillery. Using dive bombers. Twice. That takes it down to six. And then we have prepared attacks here. And here. 
and here. And then we can move the armor into position there. And should we start working on their entrenchment? Yeah, let's attack them. Getting the entrenchment down to three. And once again, taking it down to two. They will definitely replenish, but that doesn't matter. Move these guys out of the way. Get the other armor up there. Uh, is that connected to... It's not a connected to headquarters. I should get that fixed next turn. This one can't do anything. Why not? Supplies five. Did they move? No. Um, mm, mm, mm. We want the artillery closer. So we gotta move these guys out of the way. What about this? How far can it go? It can go up to here. To move the artillery, it can't move at all. Okay. We want it here. This one has moved. Start moving it this way. The rest of them will uh, upgrade or replenish whatever they need. So this one is replenishment. Oh! Look at that. Okay, forget about replenishments. We need to retake vents bills. They will have supplies for a, a while, but I don't think they get supplied from the sea. They have to be next to the port. So we're gonna make sure they don't get there. And that should be good enough, I think. Let's upgrade this one. And this one. Get those new weapons in. And move over there. Let's get the bombers closer. We're still within reach of the headquarter. There we go. Alrighty. I think that's uh, pretty much it. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think so. So we got 800 points. Let's check the research. It's maxed out, but we get um, soon we'll get production and industrial technology done. Diplomacy. Two in Turkey, two in Spain. Let's put one more in Turkey. They're not 40%. And let's look at the purchase. Do we need a headquarter? What do we have in production? We have the rockets. That's all that we have right now. Both carriers are in production. Yep. We still have one submarine that can be produced. Other than that, I need static cores to uh, hold the lines and supply lines. So we should start building some of those. Yeah. They will cost, with infantry level 3, 120 apiece. So we can get uh, 1, 2... Ah, shoot. I have to do that every time. 1, 2, 3... 4, let's get... Let's get four of them. One of them is not upgraded. And save up the rest of the points. Zoom in and hit the button. Axis liberate Iraq. We sure did. The armor down there seriously needs to get upgraded. It's still at level one. They've been pushed all the way from Libya to Baghdad. Let's get all that oil down there. The presence of Axis vessels disrupt US coastal shipping. That's good. Allied raiders uh, disrupt the Norm Norway convoy. 
Enver Hoxha, Communist Party, forms the Albanian National Liberation Front. Alrighty then. I can live with that. Less points from Norway is not gonna matter much in the big picture. That takes us to the Allied moves. Yeah, the Red Sea Indians, you can call them that. Just keep going back and forth. Lots of Soviet movement, they're putting units into Kirovograd, obviously. But they do not empty the pocket. The guys in Riga will be in uh, force, which is also expected. But I've gotten their entrenchment level down, that's what counts. I got artillery and bombers waiting to hammer Riga. The guards want to get out of the pocket, not happening. The cavalry in Kazan is getting attacked, they hold. The entryway to Crimea has been opened. Soviets in Pinsk attack the Italians, no success either there. And the Soviets in there, they're in serious trouble. They insist on trying to damage themselves before the pocket closes. Okay, I can live with that. Soviets near Sidomir, try to break out or something. It's not happening either. They're pretty dead. Oh, we have real Soviet armor arriving. I think that's from uh, Siberia. Well, those units are pretty um, tough. I don't know their skill level though. If they're just skill level one, it's not that dangerous. But if they are upgraded, they will be able to cause serious problems. Okay, looks like they're vacating the Kazan area completely. So we can push the Romanians into Crimea, hold in 12 rifles, suffers desertions. The others will probably too. So my allied, like Romanians, Bulgarians, Hungarians, they're actually pretty useful in uh, this game. I think more than they were in the in real life. Italians not so much. Still a lot of units that needs to upgrade. That's it. So I didn't lose any, did I? UK convoys. Well, it's not visible here anyway. How many points? And that's it. All right, I'll put a break in here, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.